All right. I want to talk about black holes. And there's a very common misconception about black holes. The fact that if a, the sun suddenly shrank down to a certain amount, to a certain size, and became a black hole. Now, according to our current theories, our sun is not going to do that. The, the mass is not large enough. But uh, in theory, the mass could be, of the sun could be shrunk down. What would happen to the Earth? Well, um, for eight minutes, we wouldn't know, assuming it happened like that. But in this one, we're, just, we're not worried about the humans at this point. So if the sun suddenly became a black hole, what would the Earth do? Would it suddenly, like a drain, just start spiraling in until it gets sucked in? No. That the gravitational pull, the sun suddenly took all of its current mass and shrank down to a tiny little size. Well, the mass hasn't changed. All that's changed is that if something gets within the, the short child radius, within the, a certain distance of the of the sun of the center of the sun then it's nothing's going to escape it cannot escape now generally that short child's radius is how if you have something traveling at the speed of light and in classical physics it could in anything could travel the speed of light but if something traveling the fast as fast as the speed of light uh, then it would then just it could not escape if it got within that certain radius and so when, but the mass, the gravitational pull of this sun, this now black hole sun, hasn't changed though initially. And therefore, the Earth is going to keep going around what it's been doing, all fat, dumb, and happy. There'd be no light on the Earth anymore because the light couldn't escape this, our black hole sun. But the Earth would not notice. Similarly, if the Earth suddenly shrank down to the size of is it a ping pong ball, then it would basically create a black hole, but the moon would still be going around the Earth. So the gravitational pull hasn't changed at all. It's not like a drain. Now the deal is, is that because of it, nothing can escape it, that means if something comes in, nothing's going to escape. That means the Earth would not be losing any molecules of oxygen or its atmosphere anymore. All the atmosphere would get crushed down into that, that tiny little ball. And over the course of billions of years, enough dust would come in and fall in and space flotsam, and etc. Enough things would fall into the black hole that it be does gain mass that way. And as it gains mass, it increases the pull. And so it would take billions of years. Now, at the same time, it's burning energy as it's doing this. You, so energy, and so ultimately, there's some theories which say black holes eventually will sort of disintegrate. They sort of break up on their own. Uh, I, I don't know enough about black holes in order to be able to address that one too much, but things don't get sucked into it unless it's with inside this, the radius, the Schwarzschild radius. And so, because you wanted to know, and the more you know.